Welcome back. We're having our leadership conversations with Pastor Kong Hee from City Harvest Church, Singapore. We could go on talking, talking. <laughs> I, I love hearing the stories, and, uh, and there's so much wealth of information um, we can pull out of you. But I think you know the question that pastors, believers have all over the world right now is, you know, as we've gone through COVID. I know Singapore is still not out like we are in the U.S. in, in certain sense, but the church has changed. How we do church, um, I think things have been shaken. Can you speak into that? I know from your perspective here as well as globally and what you're maybe sensing and feeling on how, how is church changing or adapting now after the whole of COVID? I think, first of all, uh, in 2020, when COVID first came came up, you know, mm -mm. Uh, I thought there's a big reset button. Mm that mm. everything is it's like God pressing the reset, mm, mm. <laughs> even for the church. Yeah. I think it's for the whole world, but for the church. Suddenly, everything that can be shaken is was shaken. shaken. Yeah, or was shaken, you know? And uh, ch there are churches that begin to, or even for our church, we begin to see what is that part that is strong mm. that still remains. Mm. And what is that part that is not so strong? Mm. And for example, we begin to realize the importance of cell groups again, yeah. connect groups. That relationship is very important, mm -hmm. even more important or than ministry at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We begin to realize that, hey, even without conferences and conventions and seminars, we can still survive. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, uh, we who are not savvy in uh, social media, we have to be savvy because yeah. that's the only way to connect. Yeah. So, God began to show us new ideas. There's, mm. There are new ways of sharing the gospel. Mm. There's, there are new ways of getting the word out. Mm. But to be strong or to, to survive as a church or to keep the church going, there's certain things that you cannot forego. Relationship, discipleship, mm. the word of God mm. still, still stands. All of a sudden, for example, uh, People can get their information and their feeding from YouTube, from podcasts. Yeah. So my church went through a season where everyone's confused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the online people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're confused, you know, because uh, this website has so many followers yeah, and yeah. whatever they say is so reasonable, but it is it, it, it contradicts what we are learning in mm. church. So there are questions, mm. which may not be a bad thing. Mm. So I use those times to clarify. I remember we we had a, a chance where, where they could have a Q&A. I kid you not, I have something like 300 over questions wow. that came in. And these are only from the leaders. And it took me almost a year mm. to answer every single mm, one of them. Mm, mm, mm. But through it, yeah. it strengthened our church. Yeah. It, it, it helps us to clarify our values, our doctrine, and what is of importance to us. Mm. And for me as a pastor, as a leader, it also gives me a chance to have an honest look mm. at the at the state of our union. This because in a sense, City Harvest Church, we have so many districts and zones yeah. and departments, and yeah. we have our departments and and this and and uh, department and ministry have like yeah. 70 over. We are like it's a union, you yeah. know, it's a state of our union. <laughs> I get an honest look and I say, okay, so where do we go from here? Yeah. Wow, that's powerful. I think, you know, like what you mentioned, it's the shaking and we yeah. see stuff that needs to die and maybe, yeah. you know, cut off and, and what's health and, and the status of our yeah. people. I think discipleship making churches did very well yeah. um, because we already have the relationship there. Other yeah. churches are struggling and, yeah. you know, uh, like you say, you can watch the best preachers online and hear, they may not all be preaching the right thing, but they've got the, the personality and all that very eloquent. And it, it does raise a lot of, of questions. People are watching online now and not having community so much. Yeah. Um, I know, you know, things haven't really gone back to normal here, but you know, my sensing is really, we're not gonna go back to normal. There's a new normal. It's a new normal. What, what do you think the new normal is? I think the new normal will make the church pure. Mm. First of all, the Christian church mm. has been going on for 2,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> we are not going to be shaken by a yeah. pandemic. Yeah. We've had many of them in history. <laughs> we have many throughout history. Yeah. The church has gone through hell and high water yeah, yeah. and it's growing, it's strong, it's, we, people are clearer, people are stronger. I have no doubt the church of Jesus Christ is going to go stronger yeah. from strength to strength. Yeah. So this is just a temporary hiccup. So if you are watching this and your church is struggling, it just, it's, it's a reset. 
Yeah. God is showing you the, the state of your church and you learn from it and you just strengthen your, uh, affirm your strength and uh, strengthen your weakness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going forward, I think that definitely social media is here to stay. Yeah. So we have to learn how to uh, preach the gospel through social media. Mm. And while this is a great opportunity, but too much social media is also not good. You know that. Yeah. 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 You, you know that uh, Generation Z and those after that, they are born yeah. <laughs> with the internet. Yeah. My son, can, from the moment he's born, there's always the internet. He cannot imagine a life. <laughs> yeah, he cannot imagine a life without yeah. the internet. Yeah. And you know, internet cuts both ways. Mm. It's good mm. and yet it's filled with bad. Yeah. So we got to teach our people to be discerning. Yeah. I think going forward, I think that the gospel will will, will be spread even more. Mm, yeah. Even in the poorest countries now, because of this this COVID, now they have access to communication. Yeah. So we can communicate the gospel even more effectively. Yeah. I think at the same time, as a, the the churches, we got to get our acts together. Yeah. <laughs> or get our act together. Yeah. And we got to be able to uh, consolidate after the COVID and uh, get back to building uh, or making disciples, get back to fulfilling the Great Commission mm. and get back to to um, the community that yeah. we once used to have. Yeah. So there are many things going on. <laughs> yeah. I remember you were talking, I remember Sun used to always say, it's the boring basics. It's the boring basics. You know, but they're not boring, but it's, it, it really strengthens who we are as the church and a lot of stuff yeah. that, you know, it's been shaken. It needed to be shaken. Yeah. So right now, if I, I give you one good example mm. because of COVID. Mm. You know, um, Singaporeans, we are, we are night creatures. We don't like early morning. So if you go to some parts of Asia, they wake up very early. Yeah. But in Singapore, our night life is very yeah. active. <laughs> so a lot of Singaporeans have late dinners and we sleep like one, two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So for me to have early morning prayer, yeah. it's very difficult. Yeah. First of all, it's you know, it's very hard for people to come all the way to, to church. Mm. But right now, because of social media, mm. I'm able to have early morning prayer and have thousands joining us. Mm. Right now, I could do a prayer meeting and immediately I could have thousands from all around Asia yeah. tuning in mm. and joining us in prayer. Recently, mm. we had, uh, and you're involved in the, mm. the our Harvest Network. Yeah. And we have 13 countries joining us yep. for prayer. Oh, yep. And we did this on Zoom. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah. So there are many things that was impossible before, but now it has become a possibility. Yeah. So you, these are all the pluses of COVID. Yeah. So I think we got to be creative, innovative. The Holy Spirit will show you and show us mm. how we can do church. Uh, I think that another big deal in, in because of COVID is that... Uh, I feel that uh, I feel that that because we can do church in a new way, mm. there'll be more churches that's going to spring up everywhere, mm, mm. which is not necessarily bad, but it will actually help us to do missions in a more effective mm, way. Mm, mm. You know, it used to be you have to wait in certain parts, in certain remote remote parts of Asia. They have to wait for months before missionaries can come. Yeah. Now, all we need to do recently, we did an outreach to the slums in India mm. in COVID. Wow. The nation's closed. Wow. We can't even go there. Yeah. But we managed to send an iPad. Mm. And in the slum areas, we have hundreds of kids. Yeah. This is a, it's a Christmas children's outreach. Yeah. Hundreds of kids yeah. came. Yeah. And many of them gave their heart to Jesus. Yeah. What well, an opportunity, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, gates of hell don't prevail against the church. We yeah. just keep going. Yeah. You, you know, I've noticed one thing watching online, and, and uh, you know, you're getting people back to focus on church without walls and engagement in a time when people are locked down. But we need to keep reaching people, and so that's being creative, doing it differently, yeah. using technology. But the vision doesn't change. Yeah, I mean, because of COVID, because of this pandemic, people lost their jobs. Yeah. I think it's the same in the U.S. Right? Yeah, a lot of them. And yeah. a lot, a lot of people all around the world, they lost their jobs. And they're not going to get the jobs back. Yeah. That's a scary thing. They thought after COVID, they would get it back. They're not. Yeah. They're not going to get the jobs back. Uh, because people are in a lockdown mode, mental wellness yeah. problems begin to surface. 
uh, marriages are strained. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's for better or for worse, but they didn't know that they're going to be with each <laughs> other 24-7. <laughs> I mean, divorce rates yeah. in Asia has gone through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. So in the midst of COVID, mm. there are needs everywhere. Yeah. When we use the church without walls as an avenue to share the love of Jesus, mm. to help the poor, to help those people are feeling, I mean, we notice here in Asia, people are feeling lonelier than ever before. Mm -hmm. No community, yeah. they are locked down. And, and we get our, our members to go and reach out to them, mm. befriend them. During this last few months, we literally saw hundreds coming to Christ. Mm, wow, beautiful. In the midst of lockdowns, yeah. in the midst of a COVID pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So in season out of season, the yeah. kingdom of God expands. Yeah. We just got to stay in tune with the Lord, with the Holy Spirit. He's a creative spirit. Mm. He'll give you new visions and new dreams. Mm. But the good news is the church of Jesus Christ will keep on going. Amen. Love it, Pastor. So it's being creative being adaptive, keep going, staying faithful to the vision, yeah. maybe do it in a different way. You know? Staying sensitive to the Spirit of God, staying mm. sensitive to His leading. Mm. Yeah, and whatever is not working, if God wants it to die, let it die and move on into yeah, the Just new. move on. I mean, yeah. there's just some things that we cannot do. No yeah. point getting upset over it. I yeah. mean, I wish I could get all the thousands upon thousands to come back to church every week, but yeah. I can't. Yeah. So what's the point of getting upset? Yeah. You know, I just, you know, and, and Christianity is a, in spite of faith, mm. in spite of the limitation, in spite of, in, in spite of needing to wear a mask. Yeah. We learn to worship. We just yeah. go on. Yeah. And, and it's that kind of a, a blood, sweat, tears, tenacity. Yeah. I'm going to fulfill the Great Commission. Come on, mm. I'm going to love mm. God and love people no matter what. It's that yeah. kind of, of attitude. That, that brings revival, actually. Yeah. I have no doubt the greatest revival is ahead of us. Yeah. I believe that even now, and it's going to grow, that once this pandemic is over, we're going to see revival like never before. And don't forget the, the Reformation, the mm. Protestant Reformation, mm. was in the midst of a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> the best days are yet ahead. Best days are yet ahead. Yeah. Not only for us, but for you. Derek, yeah. son and I, we are praying for you, for yeah. CCOC. We believe that your destiny is great. You know, I just keep having in, in my heart and my vision that you're going to grow into the thousands. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sooner than you imagine. Amen. I told you that Amen. years ago. I still believe in that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And not because we are, we are fixated by numbers. Yeah. We are not. Yeah. But because people need the Lord. Yeah. We've got to keep loving people. And this time, you know, people need the Lord. Like you said, this is the greatest time for the church. So many people are hurting and broken. We need to keep yeah. the vision. And, and you people. never know, you know, you yeah. never know. You may think that, you may still be thinking about your own congregation, your own yeah. members, but there are a lot of people that are watching you preach every week mm -hmm. on social media. Yeah, yeah. And they may be living in a different state, a different country, mm. a different city, mm. and their lives are changed yeah. because of your sermon. Yeah. So your impact is great yeah. and you will get greater. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for believing in us and uh, sending us out. And we're a fruit of your ministry and sons. Uh, Pastor, for those watching, maybe that are a bit discouraged as we end off this series, this session, can you just pray for the people yes. and, and bless them? Yes, I love to do that. If you're watching, I want to pray for you that in Jesus' mighty name, that your best days will be right ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just Thank pray you, for every pastor, every leader, every Christian, every member who is watching this series of Leadership Conversation. I pray, O oh God, that you restore dreams that have died. I pray you resurrect dreams that have died. I pray right now for new visions and new dreams because Holy Spirit, you never change. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. So Spirit of the living God, come afresh. Breathe upon us new breath of God. I just pray, O oh God, that, that our ministry will be fruitful. I pray you meet every financial need there are those that are living by faith and they love you. They're serving and they're active in church, but yet they're struggling to make ends meet. They're struggling with debts, with bills, with financial commitment. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're the Lord our healer. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for blessing upon blessing to come upon you. I Thank pray for you, those Lord. of you who are sick. I pray that God truly will be your Jehovah you Rapha because by His stripes, you are healed. Thank you, Lord. I pray for your marriage to be blessed. 
I pray for your career to be blessed. And if one door is shut, God will open new doors for you. That from the morning to the evening, from your coming to your going, the blessing of God will overwhelm you and overtake you. So Father, I just pray for all the brothers and sisters who are watching this broadcast. I pray the blessing of the Lord will come, that the Lord will bless you, the Lord will keep you, that He will make His face shine upon you, that the, and be gracious to you, that the Lord will lift up His countenance mm. upon you and give you peace, the Thank shalom you. of God in every area of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. 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 Thank amen. you so much, Pastor Cole, for being with us. And uh, every time I'm with you, I love Jesus more and love people more. And so I know you guys tuning in, uh, you've also done that. You can follow City Harvest Church Singapore. We have the link um, at the bottom of the screen there on the app. And uh, follow Pastor Kong. Come and tune in. People, there's people all over the world that God is using, doing amazing things that we don't know. And I believe you are one of them and Son is one of them. So glad to be a part of the City Harvest family and uh, continue to do life and live life together until Jesus comes. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, guys.